Hello and welcome back. This week is going to be all about elliptic curve cryptography, which is a quite big topic, so we're going to spend a couple of weeks on it actually. But this week is going to be about the basics and about constructing basic cryptographic primitives from elliptic curves. So let's dive right in. Well, elliptic curves are often mysterious to people because the concepts are not as intuitive as working directly with numbers, so we're gonna take our time to go through it. To do elliptic curve cryptography, we'll need finite fields, algebraic varieties, and some projective geometry. Some of these terms might sound scary, but again, the concepts behind them are not that difficult. And finite fields, we've already covered. So, what is the motivation behind elliptic curve cryptography? It's quite simple. Elliptic curve cryptography allows for a lot smaller key sizes. So, if we have an approximate security level of 128, which is considered secure today, then if we want to accomplish that with, for example, finite field Diffie-Hellman, uh, we would need a Key transferable key of around 3000 bits, 3 kilobytes, it's quite a lot. For the same security with elliptic curves, we would need keys of around 256 bytes. Bits, sorry. Of course, that's a lot fewer and therefore it's a lot faster to transmit, especially if I have multiple connections per second that I need to open 